Hello again everyone, it is the Black Knight, and this is a video I've kind of been teasing for a little while on and off. And I actually have no idea if it's really even anything I was going to be interested in, but hey, if you are, thank you for coming, thank you for watching. This is just my tour of my Red Rocket Truck Stop build here at the, the Red Rocket Truck Stop Settlement. My first real attempt at using the the vault build uh, kind of you know equipment here the vault elements. Better life above ground. And as you'll be able to see pretty soon, I'm not really into accurate claustrophobic uh, confined areas. This is abject Escheresque silliness. It's completely silly. There's nothing here that looks physically real. It's all just kind of floating there completely, you know, without any visible means of support. It's it's a prostitute settlement. There's no question about it. It has no visible means of support. Let's check it out. So now on the bottom, obviously we have lots of guns. The stuff tends to spawn right around here anyway, so it just gets to die quickly. I don't know what activate does. That's interesting. I don't know what that does. That turns it off and on? Is that... Let's see something. Uh, what's the actual... Oh, uh, here, tab. Oh, we need to go V to get it to see what it's doing. Okay, we have power 800. If I go activate... Yeah, everything goes dead. Look at that. Power is 300. Okay, wow. You can turn this off and on. I did not know that. All right, we're back up. So we have super power going on here. Lots of lots of water refinery going on here. Lots of water being pumped up for people to drink. If we go inside, not too much done. I've added some more pegboards so that we have, you know, all these kind of special, you know, wonderful weapons here that probably not... To, the shish kebab is just a standard shish kebab, but it's a shish kebab. It's special in its own way. Lots of stuff. We just have some some randomness in here. I don't even know why some of that stuff's stored, but we've got it. Uh, we've got a mix of X01 and... And 60 kind of stuff going on in this power armor that I've got stored here that I have here just because that's where it is in the trailer. This is the, the location. I have the door closed because it just seems, you know, it's, it's a dangerous world out there. You gotta leave your doors at least a little bit closed, right? Now, if we go up to the, the first level here, we're into the earlier build. This is before I got the, uh, the Vault Tech stuff. And, you know, kneecapper stuff, hubs, alien, blaster, quick draw, laser pistols. You know, there's all kinds of stuff here. Penetrating pistol, the Wastelander's friend, Old Faithful, the Lucky 44, Steadfast Gamma Gun, Mutant Slayer's hunting rifle. All kinds of stuff here, you know. Cavalier's pool, do-do-do-do-do. Defiant combat rifles, poisonous board, a couple different electrified swords, the fish catcher out of the uh, the Far Harbor DLC, the Kami Whacker, Mutant Slayer's combat shotgun, short atomic laser musket, a few different things just in the coolers and storage here. We've just got, you know, a targeting quad barrel missile launcher, just to have them around. A regular old fat man. We have, you know, storage and stuff for other things. I mean, we, we can do more, but cabinets are currently kind of empty. A couple empty bottles up on the shelf. Going out onto the main platform area, this was kind of where I built, you know, all my equipment, set up all my, my workshops. Above and everything. So, you know, down below something could attack and then it'd get shot to bits and I could be happily manufacturing, you know, fireworks in this case. Whee! 
And ammunition over here. That's all working. More guns in case something came up. You know, these steps. Nothing's going to come up those steps unless I want it to come up those steps. Um, let's, let's continue the, uh, the tour around this way. Driving Curie a little crazy. We have, this was the original power. You know, guarded from long range shots. You know, not that you had to worry about player versus player in Fallout 4. You got kind of a nice view of my other settlement. You can see all the water generation over there in Sanctuary. That's, that's a nice thing. You can see some of what I've built over this way, but there's a larger structure that's out of the view range there that you can't see. And we can go up higher, obviously. And we're going to. Whee! Uh, let's see. Decontamination portal here. I don't need to be de decontaminated. But now we get into the, the more modern areas. This was just kind of where I was trying to figure out how I was going to run the wire and make everything work inside. So it's a little bit of an experiment area. This is some some stuff from the some slot machines from the uh, from the Vault 88 build. It didn't really do much with this space. It's this was kind of this is the more compact confined area. Didn't do much with it. And I really don't have any plans. If you got any suggestions, put them in the comments below. Now we get up into more of a living area. First of all, first ever real bathrooms. Try to give everybody a little bit of privacy. Did not put doors on them. I think that was the original plan, but that didn't work out. But we got sinks. We got whatchamacallits, and they work. Have a drink from the bathroom sink. And of course, we do have some haunted weights. Yes, that's right. You can you can work out here, and so can ghosts, because we have ghost uh, haunted weights all the time. That's a thing. Stockade. I forget why I put the stockade there. It just seemed like a good thing at the time. I don't know where I was going with that. I've never really put anybody in that. We have some drink stations here. Maybe it was just like, well, here's like you know, oh, take your picture with the stockade, because this is kind of a carnival kind of feel to the whole rest of the floor. You got your clinic, you got a chem station, um, barber shops, you know, this is you know, a, photo, a photo raptor, a photo, you know, the eye thing, whatever. More games, some of it, more just decorations. Just to, yeah, this, is, this is the hanging out, you know, the Aladdin's Castle top dog Chuck E. Cheese kind of uh, place to go here. Some of those references, very few people will get, but the ones who will get them, they'll enjoy them a lot. Need a soda? You can get yourself a soda. Have a seat here at the the bar. We got someone working the bar. I How you doing? Back to Diamond City one of these days. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, I have a song. Looks like we need to put somebody at the clothing. I think I thought we had everything, you know, set up. I mean, we need more people. Yeah, weapons isn't man, general's not man, armor's man. You know about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? We have some storage for them here for the guys, and we have you know some mannequins to show the kind of armors that we've grabbed over the years. Nothing too fancy on those, I don't think. A little bit fancy. Some other mannequins to go along with the clothing and armor. Yeah, some Nuka World stuff. I think that's a, uh, yeah, that's a courier outfit. Not courier, not courier, a um, Corsair outfit. Moving upstairs. Now you're getting more into the living quarters, so it's, it's always Christmas in my universe. But no, this is actually, this is, oh, this is my office. This is the actual, uh, it's been a while since I've been here, so this is the hidden 10 millimeter. You never can be too sure when you're the, when you're the, uh, Vault Overseer, but this is kind of like if you wanted to come see, you know, the Overseer. Here's a whole bunch of computing processing power processing for the Overseer, a bunch of storage. Again, there's, I have so many options for here for someday if I ever need to expand. Don't really have any plans. This is where that stairwell ends. Doesn't go up any further. If we peek through here. You can see the top of the rocket from the Red Rocket. Actually, you can see just the tip, so that's just... This door will take you outside. You want to take this door outside? We may as well. 
We'll go outside here onto the, the patio. This was, I guess I need a little bit more power. I can always need a little bit more power. Might have been just convenient, so I mean, just easier to get power the lights from uh, from here than up there. See, we have some decorations. We got some gorillas up here, based on the whole ook ook theme. Oh, look, here's one of my uh, one of my my uh, what you call it my supply chain things going on here. We got a bear overlooking things. Can't see too much over here, so we'll jump down onto. Here's another set of bathrooms. Because you know you want to have bath, you have to have you know, at least one, one head near the, uh, near the another restaurant. We had multiple restaurants going on here. Do 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 do. do. Door is open. We can go back in. Maybe a little kitty car for the kids to play in while you're airing your grievances with me, the overseer, the general. Now here, this should be. As you see, we have another little, little conversation nook. Yeah, true. This is not great. This is our dorm. As you can see, we have more than enough beds. How many beds did we put in here? Just note, happiness ninety-four, and there's a couple robots uh, assigned to this stealth. I couldn't get all the robots out. I think we still have some robots. So, only 12 people in here. Food's up to 18. But as it grows, then, you know, we're going to have more and more of that going on. We've got, I think we're, we're set. We can more, we have 55 beds, 12 people. We're, we're set. We have lots of room for growth. And I think it probably with my, with, you know, all the, with the sharp armor on, I could probably get into the 30s. So we'll see how it goes. But this is just another bathroom. So you don't have to get far out of bed. Some random processing power. Bunch of storage, some decorations. We've got some, a couple, couple banners, a couple pictures. Try to make it nice and comfy for everybody here. Originally, this was my keep. I didn't have any settlers assigned here. I didn't have a, a beacon set up, but it seemed more effective because there's two settlements where you really can't set up a beacon. So I figured, well, let those be the, the lonely settlements. Here we have some more storage. This is. Again, now more the true keep area than where I keep all my stuff. Not too much in these. Although they can't have them. Is that bottle caps just appear? Yeah, bottle caps appeared! Yay, bottle caps! I have a bunch of armors. As you can see, armor racks galore. Lots more room for future armors. I probably have a bunch of them that I have to put out. We've got the big armor racks. There's a, there's a blank one that I've just thrown up here for some somewhere along the line when I get it set up. Now there's one of the Nuka the Nuka T51 that I just got from the, doing the bottling cat the bottling plant uh, level there at uh, that dungeon in Nuka World. This is of course the Overboss armor for when you get into Nuka World. That's that's not over here. We have more storage. We have another overseer's desk over here with an actual computer so it seems like this is the real overseer's desk it's not where i'm just meeting people sito shiny slugger v spray and pray one of the best guns until i got my explosive uh shotgun the sword of wonders a lot of a lot of you know purple shooters gamma gun hitman's combat rifle the blood letter radical conversion the ghoul slayer's automatic institute rifle a lot of, like you know a lot of stuff you get for missions and things this is, ostensibly, my bed. This is where I would normally sleep. Next to the stereo. Nice new stereo. Gotta get that to work. Vault trunk. There's a lot of stuff in here that I have to, you know, armor that I can put out and stuff that needs to be put up on, on the wall here. Disciple strap, left arm. Journals. It's just, you know, my disorganized area. Some round. There's some. That's interesting. This is spawning rounds and bottle caps. Let's let that go. I've got an entire boss and boss helmets, raider helmets. These might need to be repaired, so that might be why they're all in here. Lots of stuff. Some file cabinets. A hamper. I love the hamper. The hamper is just like you know, a brand new hamper. How do you even get that really in this 200 years after anyone made a hamper? 
have a rack for some magazines. Jetpack boss armor here. Oh, there's Tessa's fist with some XL1 on gear. So that's that's nice. Just a, a mix of holding on to the parts. There's the the Vim, the green Vim, and the red Vim power armors. You got the, oh here's the Pizio nucleic power armor chest. That's a special piece that gets its own little little gear here. A standard set of Raider because it does look cool even if it is crap for the most part. It's not really the best. It's not bad. It's not bad if you don't have anything, but. Another assembly of X01 parts. Um, some classic 45 parts they just thrown on there. Oh, let's see, we have the, the, the heavy weapon racks. The Fat Man, Night Vision, Triple Barrel Missile Launcher. Bayoneted Triple Barrel Missile Launcher. Not a quad barrel, but Fist HR Shred Minigun. What was the story on this? Fist HR. I, don't, I honestly don't remember what the story was on this one. It's a thing. Since I'm sure that's in a video. Targeting quad barrel missile launcher. Another fat man. You gotta love fat men. Another fat man. I can mod these up if I want to. Ah, Skipper's Last Stand. That's a that's a unique. Max capacity huge napalmer. The Admiral's friend. Which is different than the Skipper's Last... I guess it's not really different than the Skipper's Last Stand. I mean, very much. Maybe it has some different attributes. High-speed shredding minigun. Fat Man. And just... Oh, the freezing minigun. There you go. That's another unique. And let's see. Do we put anything... Oh, yeah. Here we go. We have a couple of... A uh, couple of Pip Boys in one display case. And that's... I guess I get bored with putting stuff in display cases. It is a complete pain in the buns. That's a good point. You know, we don't know what the rest of the world... We know where some of the rest of the world looks like. And it's actually less extreme than some places. And more extreme than others. Um, you're still better off in Vegas. Armor rag. You got all these kind of cool armors going on here in clothes. Do, 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 do. Some institute garb. That is probably... Yeah, that, that might be the overseer's stuff from uh, Vault 88. You get that Overseer outfit. Well, that's pretty much the keep. Let's let's move on. We have some more processing over here. Another, another nook where I could put something. Comments in the description if you want to see something put in there. Another decontent. I guess, I guess we have one going in either way in case you get all radiated up here on the roof. Um, I don't know that there's anything. I think we're so high up, I don't think these things would ever lock onto anything on the ground. But if something, how, so however, got up here, you know, vertebrate landed. From a, a role-playing point of view, it's useful. And from the other aspect of it, um, you know, it does increase the overall defense. So it does add to the math. Here we have uh, a fireworks launcher. It's light. You're not going to see much if I do it. I don't even know if they're loaded. Are they loaded? No, we've got nothing in them. Oh, we got somebody manning the uh, the artillery in the rain, kicking the you know, keep up the good work. Good work, settler. We have some unmanned artillery too. More guns. We have to get some more settlers. Bunches of crops. We should probably grab some of these, but I don't know. Yeah, I can grab some razor green real hard. Well. Yeah, it's growing well. That's good. Do, 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 do. Yeah, someone's working it. Are they working it? Yep. Working it, just not hard. Hey, I think it's more than most people have. Come on. It's a lot of food. Lots of food going on up here. We got melons, we got moot fruits, or mutt fruits, or mute fruits, or however you want to call them. Got artillery at all the corners that, you know, may or may not be manned at any one given time. Not really planning on bombing anything in this general area, so it's really just for the numbers. And there you have it, folks. This is the Red Rocket. What do you think? I guess we can climb up here. 
for another view you can the highest point you have a pretty good view of the, of the surrounding area especially when it's not raining and foggy that's kind of disappointing you can normally see across the way pretty well the sanctuary another day of hard work you're you're standing there and I'm not bombing anything come on you can see radar dishes in the distance it's a good it's a good view also like something's burning over there as opposed to being just a cloud but probably just a cloud wow it's really we've completely not lucked out here you can see the whole city down there if you squint Okay, this is this is an interesting glitch. You see that? On the statue? I came over here just to do my standard game. Well, and there was a tour, but look at this. If you look straight, I think if you if you line it up no, there you go. Oh wait, there it went away. Looks normal. Not normal. That Part of this, it's, it's, it's projecting something from <laughs> the textures of the, uh, of the settlement. Alright, well, we, we'll go with that. That's fine. On that note, here you have a settlement that makes no sense, which couldn't possibly exist in the physical reality floating there without some kind of anti-gravity drive. But as far as video games are concerned, it's a comfortable place for settlers to come and be happy. And uh, if you are a settler, you know, please know you're, you're more than invited to stop by here at uh, the Red Rocket and make it your home. On that note, this is your Black Knight. I hope you've endured, endured the tour. On that note, this is your, your Black Knight. I'm leaving that in. I'm leaving it. It's too funny. <laughs> no, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Oh, great. Wipe your nose right as I'm sitting doing the outro. At least Carrot is looking good. We got, we got that going for us. If we're really lucky and we watch long enough, then she'll take a smoke through the helmet. Smoking robots. You gotta love it. Well, synths. I guess synths smoking is still a thing. Eh. We'll ponder that for another time, perhaps. Although... Do we really need to? It's just a it's just a thing. Have a great night. <laughs>